Hey guys, it's Lauren with How To Beauty and today have I got a new beauty segment for you. It is called Breaking Down The Box and we are breaking beauty boxes down one by one, brand by brand. So as I always say, get comfy, get cozy, please like, subscribe, need lots of comments down below what you think of this review. Now the reason why we are breaking down beauty boxes is because I don't know if you've ever wanted to try one. If you are a beauty box guru, I am not. I'm a skincare and makeup guru, but I have never subscribed to a beauty box before. So I decided to pick what I thought would be the most creditable, the most trendful, the most honest, just the most credible of all of the beauty boxes. Um, and so I decided to choose the Allure beauty box. Allure has been around for over 30 years talking about beauty products, giving us bestsellers, giving us uh, shelf talkers with Sephora and Ulta and what their best sellers are, what their recommendations are. And believe me, 95% of the time between 2000 something when they started this to about now, they have been correct. Let me tell you, they knew what sold, they knew what was good. Either the brands were telling them, the stores were telling them, or their customers were telling them. Now, I have been in the store as a sales rep for over 20 years with skincare, hair care, makeup, everything, you name it. I know what sold and I know what was returned, okay? And that's really how you go by if you have a really great product or not. So we're breaking these beauty boxes down to see are they worth it and are they really giving you the amount is worth. Now I haven't seen any YouTuber really do a video like this. That's why I wanted to take a deep dive. Um, this is not a PR or sponsored video. I paid with my own money. I chose Allure because I felt like they were very, very creditable and over the years I have agreed with them. So we will see today in the video if I do or if I don't and why. So. With the Allure Beauty Box, the Allure Beauty Box is normally $23. I paid $15, there was a special, so I got really lucky on that. They say that this box for April of 2022 is worth $395. That's a lot of money. So we are gonna go item by item. We're gonna talk about all kinds of details about the products. We're gonna talk about the value and we're going to decide together in a way if this is worth it or not. So here we go. So when you open it up, it looks like this and you get all your products. They give you a pamphlet and the pamphlet will tell you exactly what the product is and how much a full size product is if it's not full size. So here we have three, four full size products in this box. Now they said your first box you get eight products. The next thing is they have limited edition boxes but I just bought this box and they're now trying to sell me another box with products that are actually pretty decent. So um, this Elemis is really great product. So I was a little concerned because Ration Essential Kit would have been great, but instead of $23, they want $40. So I was a little off put by this. So you get this too. So let's talk about the brands. The brands that are in this box, normally when Allure got involved with products and talked about products, they were sold at Neiman's, Nordstrom, um, 
Sephora number one. Then they started doing shelf talkers on Ulta saying Allure, you know, beauty pick or bestseller, whatever. 95% of the time I was totally with them back then when they would do that. So um, they kind of gave their seal of approval. Well, now these products that are in this box are sold at Amazon. They're sold on eBay. They are sold at, one product is sold at Neiman's, Nordstrom, Bergdorf's, and Blue Mercury. Um, and then the rest, Sephora, maybe Ulta, um, and then, you know, online. So we're not talking, we're, we're talking an array of where you can purchase the product. I mean, each product. So the different places. So we're talking different prices too. So 395, we're going to take note of this, that this is worth 395. And we're just going to get a couple things out of the way that I want to get to real quick. So the first thing that you get in here is it's a L'Occitane serum and oil. It has perfume in it and it smells really, really strong. And it's really, really oily. I would say it's really good for someone who has um, dry skin, um, someone who doesn't have like any smell um, that, or that loves to put perfume on their face. Um, this is not anything that is for sale this size. Um, so this is, has a zero dollar value. If you want a regular size, I think it's 1.6 ounce, you can get it for $90, but this is a big no. Big no because of fragrance, big no because not everyone can use this, and big no because I don't want perfume smelling stuff on my face, and I can guarantee you this is not a bestseller. So that's a big strike, so we're at zero dollars and one product. Then the next item that they brought in was Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb is a best-selling fragrance from 2005. We're in 2022. I know you all know that, you're smart. Um, I have friends who sell fragrance. I've been in the skincare, hair care, makeup, you name it, um, beauty industry for over 20 years. And this is what they would give as a gift with purchase or as a sample. So there is a, it's nice to have, it's cute. Might, it might turn some people on, but this has a $0 value. So that's the second item at $0. And this is a 395 value um, kit. Um, one thing I did wanna mention is I only paid $15 for this kit. This beauty box is normally $23, which depending on where you live, after taxes, it could be $25, $27, $28. Just depends on your taxes. Um, and if they charge you for shipping or whatever, however that works. Um, so I'm glad that um, I only paid $15. That was a great deal. And that's one of the re other reasons why I did purchase the Allure box because it was not full price and it was a way to try an Allure Beauty Box. So we'll keep going. Um, the next item is Brioche. And Brioche is a K-beauty, Korean beauty line. And this is a Don't Despair Repair hair mask. So this is a little controversial being in here because not everybody needs a deep, heavy, conditioning mask. However, this came out in 2013, 2014. We're in 2022. Once again, shall I mention that? This was a best-selling mask. So many years ago, this was a number one selling best-selling mask. I'm not saying it's still not a bestseller. It's just not new. Okay. We love K-Beauty, Korean Beauty and they are little zit patches. That's what I call them, but they're called Mighty Patch. Their active ingredient is hydrocolloid, 
and you either have salicylic or hydrocolloid, and this is hydrocolloid, and what they are little patches that you can put on your zit. Now you can use these um, and put it on at night and leave it on all day if you want to, and if you're working from home or whatever, um, you can't put makeup over it really. Um, but you could leave it on for a day or two if you wanted to. Um, it is really, hydrocolloid is made for acne that is like whitehead. So anything, I know this is gross, but it pulls the pus out of the pimple and flattens it. That's what hydrocolloid does. Now, I don't know if Hero makes it or not, but salicylic patches are really the direction you wanna go. It's great for oily skin. It's great for cystic acne, big acne, painful acne. I don't know when the last time I had acne that wasn't painful. So you get 12 of these for $6.99. So we're on our fourth product and the fourth product is uh, $6.99. So we are right now at $6.99 after these four items that came, sorry these four items that came in the bead box. So the next one I wanted to talk to you about um, launched, I believe in 2021 for my research, um, a young man started this company called Buy Me. Very cute, I wish him all the luck in the world. Um, you can get this, let me see, you can get this on eBay for $9.99. Um, they're selling saying that this is worth $20. You can get it for $19.99, $22, or $9.99. You can find this. It is a liquid liner. I've opened this now six times. I don't like that it's dirty. Obviously, they're all going to be like that. That's why I think liquid liners and black packaging is the best way to go. But listen, you do you, guy, and we'll just see how it works. So when you put this on, it has pigmentation to it, um, but it is a dryer formula. It dries very, very fast. So what mine ended up doing was transferring in my crease, and I like to do two or three swipes, and by my third swipe, it was already dry, so it was getting cakey and clumpy. Um, <clears throat> so it was not my favorite however i think you could do a really great wing liner if it dries that fast and you're really good at it you would probably if you're like really good at liquid liner then you will absolutely love this i don't think allure needs to put liquid liners in in the beauty boxes just because again not everyone can do this i mean unless they are in colors or there are glitters we just don't need black liners all the time in boxes and i spread and i've seen and watched so many youtube um, videos on other boxes and just black liners we don't need them however if this helps his brand go for you so this is called shella cosmetics shella shella they're on amazon they're um you can get it at Macy's and you can get it in a birch box, which we're talking about Allure box today. Um, this on Amazon and some other places, this retails for, get ready for it, $45. Amazon and somewhere else. So they're saying this is $45. Um, on Macy's.com, you can get it for $20 as of today. And this is the beginning of May, middle of May. This eyeshadow palette is under $25. If you have coupons, if it's a little older, they have been bigger discounts, and this is $45. So off the bat, not impressed but of course we're going to give it a try now the youtubers just really were saying they like this i'm really surprised so here's our transition shade do you see it neither do i here is the crease shade do you see it barely here is the highlighter or under the brow, 
Sorry, I, I'm trying to get as much as I can on here. Can you even see it? I can't see it. There's no color payoff. And this is kind of like the color, the light. Oh, let me do it a different finger. This is the metallic color. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going in there deep. Okay. There's no color payoff. How is this $45? I know none of you would buy this for $45. I know that. I know that because it's not Chanel. It's not Dior. Yes, you have to earn your stripes to sell a palette this small for $45. You didn't earn your stripes. Allure, what's going on? Editors, what is up with you guys? Did they just give this to you for free to throw in here? So at the sixth product, we are now at, we're at 72. So you're telling me this is worth $72. Allure, it's not, that's not correct. No. Okay. That is, that, no. Okay. So then, I found this and it's called Saturday Skin and it's called Rub-A-Dub and it's a refining peel gel. Now, this isn't a peel gel that you just put on your face and you peel off. It actually pills, P-I-L-L-S. It pills the skin off, okay? But in a gentle way. This is a wonderful product it's 28 dollars. they gave us a full size so thank you for that good job um what do i want to tell you about this company this woman who created this company her company is global it is worth 90 million dollars for a very good reason she started in 2018 she has some really interesting ingredients in it but this is a fruit enzyme exfoliant, okay? So we're not using salicylic, we're not using BHA, we're not using AHA, we're using fruit enzymes and a little bit of a pilling agent to pill off the skin. I'm gonna show you how it works, it's really cool. Okay, so it has orange peel, it has eucalyptus oil, it has lavender oil, it has oat seed, it has polypeptides, and I know you're gonna wash this off, but all of these things kind of work together in a way to formulate this amazing result that you get. But polypeptides are great for collagen, collagen production. This is just a great, polypeptides are just a really great ingredient for something that's cleansing your face. So really great, they're not expensive, but they're really nice to have. It's one of the first ones that I've seen where they have six or seven polypeptides. Check out polypeptides, SH polypeptides. It also has something called, that I've never heard of before, called Junipurus Mexicana Oil. So it's produced from Texas cedar. You can find it in the south, and you can, clearly Texas, and you can find it in Mexico. And so these are just some really, really great, great natural ingredients that are going to just help with this process. Now, before I show you anything else, I wanna tell you $28, this is what it looks like, $28 for 75 milliliters. My very favorite product in the whole world that I have been out of for a while is by Peter Thomas Roth. Wow, imagine that. I love everything Peter Thomas Roth. This is his peeling gel, okay? They call them peeling gels. Just know that it's pilling um, the skin. But this also is a fruit enzyme. Now they're not exact ingredients, they're similar, they're not exact, but they do exactly the same thing. This is $48 for 100 milliliters. So you're paying $28 for 25 less than this, 25 less milliliters at 75 milliliters. I'm never purchasing that again. It was exorbitant amount for something you're washing off your face, however, Let's look at this. Now, I'm not gonna use a lot of this on camera because this is for me and I love it. Okay, so 
Right away, there's really no smell to this. It is amazing product. I did this earlier, I couldn't believe it. It actually takes makeup off, but I wanted to show you. Do you see how that's pilling? That's what I mean by pilling. It pills. It also exfoliates. So you would wash your face completely. So you wash your face. You do everything to wash your face, whatever that regimen is to wash your face. Then you would literally just put this on your face. Let it sit there for a minute. Let it start to activate it. Let it start to work. Then you're gonna do a light rubbing. Now, because it's a fruit enzyme, that's a chemical, even though the fruit, it's a chemical. And because it does this pilling, it's a manual exfoliant. So you have a chemical, the fruit enzymes, and you have the little bit of pilling that it does. And it's a physical manual exfoliant. And when you wipe this off, your skin looks so good, so smooth. I used it last night. You guys, my skin was so smooth. Now, why do we want a great exfoliant that's easy and fast to use that is not AHA, BHA, retinol, right? This is like an instant gratification, exfoliating, pilling, exfoliator. The reason why is we want smooth skin. We want our makeup to look as smooth on our face. We don't want our wrinkles accentuated, right? And the other thing is when you're using this day and or night, because this is gentle to use every single day, I would suggest you use it when you start to feel dull or the oil on your skin really build up, which whoever you are. Um, that's what I would suggest. And then you're going to put your skincare on top of that day or night. What that does is when the old dead skin has been taken off with this, a chemical manual physical exfoliator, your manual is your hand actually moving, then what is gonna happen is your skin care is gonna go deeper into your skin. It's going to go into the skin and you're going to see amazing results. That's why we use exfoliators. Now, Allure, you did a great job by putting this in April because in the summertime, we don't want to use AHA, BHA, and retinol every single day because that leads to sunburns and sun damage. Meaning when you are using retinols, AHA, and BHA, which is not in this, you are really, really exfoliating it to the point where you're getting new layers of skin and you're taking layers and layers off. And if you're going on vacation, if you like to be in the sun at all, if you don't wear SPF, if you don't wear much makeup and you're doing all this AHA, BHA, retinol in the summer, you are going to burn. You're going to have a chemical reaction. Your face is going to be red all the time. You stop that stuff for the winter time. So this is perfect year round but it's perfect for the spring and the summer months because you're not exfoliating so much like a retinol, which is just really, really stripping and getting rid of layers of dead skin. This gets way rid of the little top danglers. Retinol is taking layers of skin off of your face. If any doctor or anyone ever sits there and says retinol all is okay for summertime, then you better be using SPF 80 on your face. Just saying, because when you take all that dead skin off, that sun pulls up all that sun damage. It's waiting to come up and creating sun damage. So you can make a huge issue if you're not just using a simple, amazing exfoliator like this. That's all you need. Okay, so the last thing. Okay, so this is $28. So we're at $100 for this, this, this. In this this was $100 retail value with these three items at zero dollars this next moisturizer retails at 270 so we have missed $25 so I'm guessing they're saying that these three items are worth $25 somehow some way okay I wouldn't agree but okay so $270, they're saying, we are going to wow you. We are going to make you so excited because we're giving you a product that is sold in Neiman's, it's sold in Nordstrom, it's sold in Bergdorf's, it's served, I, sold, I think, in Blue Mercury. It's a London-based company. 
Um, it's global, it's a doctor's brand, it's been out since 2010, 2012. Again, we're in 2022, I don't know why it's here, but we're here anyway. I call it 111 skin, it's probably 11 skin, I don't know, three skin, What? who knows what it's called. I've never heard of it in my life. Um, some of the things just looking at it, um, they put not only fragrance in here, but they put perfume in here. There's nothing in here that is striking me as anything that is going to um, work on wrinkles. It is just gonna help with a little bit of exfoliating the skin, like making it soft and hydration. That's all this is gonna do. This is not gonna do it. It doesn't have retinol in it. It doesn't have any peptides in it, nothing. I showed you the label. So it's nothing special to me. So when I opened this, the first thing I noticed was that's what I got. I've never used this. I have just opened it. I have put a tiny bit on my finger to smell it and it smells like old per it smells like old hairspray. There is look, I don't know if you can tell, but the product, look at this. Look at the product. There's no like this looks used. I'm not saying it's used. I didn't use it, but this is not a full bottle jar by any means. So it smells, it is for dry skin. That's why they sell it at that place. It's for dry skin. It smells like hairspray. I can't use it. I can't give this to anybody because it looks like I used it. So they're gonna think, oh, she didn't like it, which I don't. And on top of that, it looks like she's been using almost half the jar and I, I haven't used anything. So this is worth zero dollars, you guys. That's what this is. So $270 of something I can't use. So this kit is worth $125. Forget that it stinks. Forget that I can't put it on my face. Forget that people with oily skin can't wear this and use this. It stinks, but it looks used. I'm not saying someone used it and it's not a full jar by any means. So this kit was technically worth $100. If we have to give these three items a price of $25, that's fine. It's $125, it's not $395. I don't wanna be too negative, you guys. I picked Allure to be my very first box. It's just disappointing because I am such a guru with makeup and hair and everything like you guys are. I wanted to get excited about it. Um, good luck to this guy. Um, and I'll use, I'll use it, um, I'll use these, um, but you know, you can't, let's not fake people out. Let's not give products that are not full. Um, let's give products, I'm actually not gonna give you really much advice. I'm gonna keep it to myself for uh, several reasons, but nothing against Delore. Um, but you know, the kit was 15. This was, I'm not trying to put, get them, you know, in a good light for Allure because I'm not happy with this box at all. But I did get introduced to a brand new product that is a dupe for something that I was paying too much money for. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I have one product, it was, its retail value is $28. I paid $15, so I did save some money on this one product. On to the next. Next week, we will be doing a hair care beauty box, and you guys will be so excited. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't talk about it, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me comments, let me know what you think about this video, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are, and I will see you next time. Bye.